Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome back to another video on the channel. Today, we're going to be ranking all of the legendary brawlers from worst to best. Of course, there is now six legendaries inside of the game with the addition of Meg. And I feel like legendaries are probably in the best place they've ever been. You see so many legendaries, especially at the top of the meta. Of course, before we do jump into this video, make sure you subscribe. We're getting so close to 200k subscribers. Of course, let me know down below what your rankings of the legendaries are from worst to best. Make sure you're liking the video and if you're picking any Anything up in the shop make sure you're using a great code if you want to support me you can use code tom let's jump into it okay so starting off at number six as the worst legendary we have amber amber in my opinion is just look at this ultimate by the way i'm such an ultimate ruler but yeah um amber just the worst legendary in my opinion you just don't see any amber like whatever map whatever mode you just don't see any amber and honestly like i don't know you have decent damage i think you can still be used amber is insanely good when paired with like a max because obviously that speed um makes it so you can literally just run at people hold that all aim down and it's essentially like when you have that gadget because when you pop your gadget you get a little bit extra speed um so it's like you basically it's basically basically like when you play them in max you get that speediness a lot more that's going to be a kill for us there um, it looks like Buzz also going to be super weak. We are going to go down here. Hopefully, my teammates can get that kill. Leon is uh, doing an okay job right here. But we just basically keep running up, ultraming, and dying. And uh, to be honest, Amber is kind of insane with ultraim. Probably the best ultraim brawler in the game. Like, you literally want to make sure you ultraim 99% of the time with Amber. Because it's actually kind of crazy how good ultraim is. It literally just locks onto whatever target you want. And it pretty much kills them every single time. We're going to be running up here, though. It's just a call. I kind of just want to shoot that. Looks like Bull had the same idea as me. Nice little charge there. And that's going to be us going 1-0 up in this one. Buzz here is going to actually probably take us out. Somehow, I'm not sure how my fire didn't actually, like, connect to him. Because he did just, like, <laughs> super onto my fire. And somehow, it didn't kill him. I don't know. It looks like Bull doing an amazing drop, though. And uh, honestly, like, if you want to go up, buddy, we... Okay, we're going to pass it up to him. Maybe he's going to super up. He is. And he's going to be up to score. Well played there. Okay, at number five, the second worst legendary then, in my opinion, has to be Meg. Um, Meg, it just, like, obviously the damage is underwhelming. But when you obviously get super, it's going to be a lot better. And you kind of expect it not to be too good. Because obviously the super is so good that it just can't be too good when you don't have it. Because that'd be ridiculous. It looks like we are going to score it. Okay, apparently... We are going to score. Okay. We almost choked that. But yeah. I don't know. I feel like modes which are a lot slower. Just like maybe uh, maybe bounty. Maybe some high smaps where it's a lot more control based. I feel like mech could be very good. Um, but most of the time in these brawl ball game modes. Like it honestly takes kind of too long. And then it takes too long to get a super. And then once you do get that super. Uh, like so if someone scores. Then you basically lose the super. So it's like. I don't know, you wait so long to get the super, and then somebody scores, you're going to lose it, have to get it again. So, uh, yeah, I don't think Meg is too good right now. Okay, at number four, we have Crow. Crow is, of course, very, very strong on long-range maps like Ring of Fire, Backyard Bowl. Uh, but definitely, the legendaries above Crow, in my opinion, are a lot better. Especially because you can't really play Crow on those shorter-range maps. Um, especially, like, Super Stadium and, you know, just anything with kind of short, like, lines of sight, I guess. It looks like Squeak is going to be in here. We should hopefully be able to get the kill. Looks like we're going to have to back off here. My teammates, uh, Mortis just dashed into a wall twice. And now he's angry facing. We're going to bring out the protest though. Because that is what we do. And uh, now we have super. So we're going to jump onto this Squeak. Just because Squeak has like really low damage. Uh, burst damage that is. So yeah, we're going to be able to get that kill. If you can pass it up, this is going to be a goal. I do not trust the Mortis to put that in. So we're going to go and put that in. Because you just know the Mortis would have gone for some crazy trick shot. So uh, we gotta we gotta put that in ourselves. We're gonna slow both of them down here, and uh, yeah, we're going to jump. I don't think it's gonna be very good. We are lagging a little bit. That's gonna be a kill. It looks like to squeak, and Mortis is gonna be able to super that in. What did I say? You can never trust. You can't. You just can't trust randoms. You just can't trust them. Okay, we're gonna pass that off the wall though to the Mortis. Is it gonna be a trick shot? It's not. That's gonna be a wrap for this one. Okay, so we're gonna get to the top three legendaries right now. Starting off with Sandy. Sandy is amazing in pretty much uh, any kind of short range map, especially when paired with an aggressive comp, whether it's like a Max, Ro Max Rosa, sorry, or just anything like that. We, we are gonna try and stun. The okay, looks like we did actually stun the Petty there. We do 
Um, we do have a really good position here because we're going to have to kind of use this grass very, very well. Nani going to be going down. We've got to go and help our teammate out. Make sure this bell doesn't score. We've got our super here. But yeah, on any maps with the short range, uh, Sandy is an amazing lane. Like, for example, in Super Stadium, Ice 4, especially when paired with a Max, like Atara, something like that. Just two other brawlers that kind of synergize very, very well. Uh, you're going to have a great time with Sandy because Sandy is just so so good that peak ability i'd say is one of the best in the game of just being able to kind of go around the wall and get a kill we got to kind of watch the goal here because they can almost score uh that's gonna be a tp from nanny so we're probably just gonna run up and uh hopefully we can stun <laughs> we can stun the bow uh but we are gonna go down here bb is doing an amazing job that's gonna be a beautiful bubble to secure that kill we have that super here, which is going to be perfect. Got to be careful that Nani doesn't go for some crazy trick shot or something like that. But Mortis is going to secure the kill. And uh, yeah, this Sandy super is just so, so good. Obviously, the gadget did get enough a little bit. But you can still basically use it to kind of score goals. Because it's still going to stun people for long enough that you can actually score with it. Uh, it looks like we are just going to stun them here. And that's going to be a wrap in this one. Let's get into the top two legendaries right now. Okay, so at number two, that leaves us with Spike. Spike is, of course, insanely goaded on those short-range maps. And even on the long-range maps, honestly, you can play Spike with Curveball. Whether you're playing on a short-range map, you're just going to want to go with that Fertilize. And then, obviously, long-range maps, you can just go with uh, Curveball. And it's going to be really, really good. Giving you a little extra range and obviously making it a little more difficult for the enemies to kind of dodge your shots. It looks like we've got a stew here. Uh, Mortis decided not to kill the stew. That's going to be a pass. That's going to be a goal. Uh, but yeah, whether you're playing short range maps like Pit Stop, um, you can make, you know, you can make the right build. Uh, you actually want to use the other gadget if you're playing a map like Pit Stop or if you're playing a heist map. Because if you get on that safe, you're going to be able to absolutely melt it. Nice kill from Mortis. That's going to be a pass there. That's going to be an easy goal to wrap it up here. Okay, so at number one, of course, that does leave us with Leon, who is actually kind of insane right now. Compared to, like, how good Leon has been, I feel like this is the best that Leon has ever been. Of course, except for when Leon was released. Because if you guys were around when Leon was actually released into the game, he was so, so broken, like, the... One of the most broken rulers I've ever seen in any kind of meta. Um, so, yeah, he was absolutely crazy when he was first released into the game. Gotta go and pop this super. But basically, right now, you can use him in pretty much any map, any single mode, which makes him so, so OP. That's gonna be the first kill. Um, hopefully, Mortis can get the ball to us here. And we can actually score. No super shot. So, I don't know if we can score this. We're gonna go anyway and actually try it looks like we are gonna be able to score there because of a nice diner super but yeah leon just so so good right now usable in uh, pretty much every single mode i'd say apart from some of like the shorter range heist maps like pit stop uh but even then honestly leon probably wouldn't be too bad mortis going for a trick shot we're gonna run up here and hopefully we can wrap things up diner being an absolute beast and uh yeah that's gonna wrap things up here you love to see it okay guys that is gonna wrap it up for the video let me know if i got any of the rankings wrong down below let me know your opinions down below as well and I will see you guys next time. Peace.